Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm still very much feeling the festive spirit, and as you know, one of my very favourite things to do is have afternoon tea. So I've been thinking about how I can make an afternoon tea that is festive and perfect for Christmas. I've come up with a few recipes that really do that, and so I want to share with you these recipes and how I created them in this video. So join me and we'll have this beautiful festive afternoon tea together. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be visiting the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh for a wonderful light display, so join me for that also. <music> I'm cracking the eggs into my mixing bowl and to it I'm going to add the sunflower oil, milk and sugar and then whisk to combine. In a separate bowl I'm going to sieve in the cocoa powder, flour and baking powder and then add in the orange zest. I'm adding the dry ingredients to the wet, gradually a tablespoon at a time whilst the mixer is running. Once fully combined, I'm going to whisk in the orange juice and that is it. This chocolate cake is honestly one of the best I've baked in a while. Normally they can be dry, but this one is so moist and delicious. Whilst the cake is baking, I'm going to make the ganache. I'm heating double cream in a pan until it comes to a simmer and then I'm going to pour it over the chocolate and butter and let it sit for 5 minutes before whisking together. This is the easiest way that I've made ganache, usually they can go lumpy but this one is absolutely perfect. I'm adding butter to the flour and then a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to add a few tablespoons of sugar before rubbing together with my fingertips until we get fine breadcrumbs. Usually at this point I would add milk, instead I'm adding homemade eggnog for a festive taste. All of the recipes are on my website nicholasfairford.com. I've stirred everything together carefully with a knife and then I will knead with my hands to form a dough. These will bake in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. For my sandwiches, I'm making turkey and homemade cranberry sauce. I'm heating water and sugar together in a pan until the sugar has dissolved. 
Then I'm going to add the cranberries and simmer down until they burst and everything thickens. Once it has done so, I will add in some orange zest and that is it. I've shredded my turkey breast in the blender with some mayonnaise. Now I'm spreading it on my bread with a cranberry sauce and cutting it into fingers. I've cut the chocolate cake in half and I'm going to fill it with the ganache, which has been thickening for about an hour or so. Then I will put the top back on and ice the whole thing with the ganache before sprinkling on some orange zest. I'm setting a little tea table next to the Christmas tree. I always enjoy using different rooms for entertaining guests. Today I'm using my Toys Delight China from Villaroy and Bock. I've talked about it a lot, but I really do love it and want to make the most of it before Christmas is over. I've provided a link in the description box so that you can sign up to their newsletter for discounts and also to enter the sweepstake competition to win some amazing prizes. I've been looking forward to seeing this amazing display of lights at the Royal Botanic Garden here in Edinburgh. Because of Covid it's my first time even though I've been living here for two years now. Founded in 1670 as a physic garden to grow medicinal plants, today it occupies four sites across Scotland, each with its own specialist collection. 
The Royal Botanic Garden's living collection consists of more than 13,000 plant species, whilst the herbarium contains in excess of 3 million preserved specimens. Each Christmas they transform the garden into this magical setting, and I think it is so special. Thank you so much for joining me, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting and useful. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who downloaded and purchased my new Christmas ebook. I hope that it has inspired you and you've really enjoyed looking through it. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it's still available on my website nicholasfairford.com, so please do check it out. So join me next week for more festive inspiration, but until then have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.